I think a lower for longer environment, um, and it relates to equities. You know, U.S. 10-year Treasury uh, is yielding 1.5% right now, and the S&P 500 is actually nearly 2%. So you've kind of got a, a relative yield advantage to begin with, but to me what's most uh, really interesting the, uh, um, is that the, uh, our earnings growth has outpaced dividend growth for quite some time, for a number of years, and so payout ratios have come down uh, globally, uh, and the MSCI world's yield is even higher than the uh, S&P, but uh, payout ratios in the S&P are, are uh, very low by historical standards, only a handful of names of the, top, the biggest top 10 uh, in the S&P even pay a dividend. So I think there's plenty of um, firepower for dividend growth, uh, which in a, in a way is an inflation, inflation adjustment uh, as, uh, as payout ratios begin to catch up with uh, dividend growth, we think, or uh, earnings growth. I think, that's going to, uh, I think that's going to be a dynamic that we see play out, especially as company management start to uh, see that their stock is rewarded by um, in, uh, growing their dividends. And we saw that recently with uh, Microsoft's recent announcement. Well, I think our, our equity income funds, um, in particular our option income funds, um, seek to essentially pay out the bulk of total return over the course of time. And so in a sense, to put it in bar, uh, bond terms, it's sort of short duration equities because you're getting most of your return in the form of that quarterly or monthly distribution uh, and not so much uh, capital appreciation. So you're monetizing, you're annualizing and annuitizing that return stream from the equities. and so. That coupled with the fact that you're uh, writing um, uh, options on either single, single stocks in a couple of cases, but uh, primarily index options, it moderates the volatility of that return stream and so it lowers the beta profile of the strategy uh, and so it acts as a shorter duration, lower volatility equity uh, strategy and so versus beta one sort of traditional equity versus short duration uh, fixed income, it sort of fits in that middle with higher risk adjusted returns and I uh, think it uh, serves an income need, but also um, lowers the volatility of that experience. Well, managing these strategies in a closed-end fund structure is, is beneficial in a couple of ways. Number one, uh, because we don't have flows, we can have lot, a lot more control over the tax management of the strategies in general, particularly the tax character of the distributions. That's one of the things uh, that is part of the mandate of these strategies, in particular tax managed strategies. Uh, tax management's in our DNA, and so the offsetting positions of in index options or single stock options versus an underlying equity portfolio uh, provides a lot of inherent tax efficiency. Um, but also, at a, uh, because we don't own the index, we actually uh, manage uh, active equity portfolios that are, are driven by our, our bottoms-up research process. We have the opportunity to add value in terms of uh, alpha creation as well. So, in uh, uh, in the uh, in these funds where we have a an option overlay, it moderates the beta but doesn't truncate the alpha, and so we have an op opportunity to add to returns over time through that active management of the underlying portfolios.